So I haven't did a diary since yesterday morning at like eight something before I went to work. I met up with uh, Jason at the Continental Midtown because I wanted to be on a rooftop. But anyway, me and um, Jason ended up going to Continental Midtown. We went for some drinks and then I had some really good calamari salads. Of course, I got drunk off champagne. It's ridiculous. I can't, I, I've gotten like maybe 10 hours of sleep in the past like four or five days. It's ridiculous. And I've been drinking like a damn fish. I, I, I don't even understand how I'm withholding. And my skin is taking a toll on it. All these extra calories. My body is like ridiculously fat. Um, I haven't been keeping up with my green tea. I'm just a mess. I don't even know how anybody's even trying to go out on a date with me. Um, so yeah, so the guy I met um, at Seaport parking lot, we were supposed to do lunch yesterday, right? I didn't call, you were supposed to call me. This calls at like 4.30 and was like, so where, where are you gonna be? Where do you work uh, so we can go to lunch? I'm like, it's 4.30, it's dinner time. So I told you my lunch break was one to two. I forgot, I thought you said five o'clock. What type of, I mean, I was drunk. He was drunk. But really, really, five o'clock lunch? Who does that? Most people leave work at five o'clock. Yeah, I just said, oh, I'll call you later. Maybe we get together after I get off work. Mm, I didn't call him. Anyway, um, Actually, I uh, did go out with Jason. We had a good time. Really good time. He told me he had two children, which I already knew because um, Jules had told me that night at the party. But we had a good time. Lots of laughs, of course. Very, you know, we hung out. Great time. We had jokes. It was really, really nice. I was home at a decent time, as I recall. I think I was home by like 10 o'clock, maybe. And I had to work today. Not really work work. Um... I had some QVC stuff to do, and then as well as this new agency wants to sign me, and like I'm hungover and I'm super tired, and I'm like really sitting with this lady, trying to talk business with her and look over a contract. I couldn't even do. It. I told her I, you know, I'd get back to her. But it's a new agency. They want me to sign an exclusive contract. Hell no, I'm not. Not exclusive only. Um, because I like having the freedom to be with different agencies, unless you're going to promised me like a half million dollars a month. I'm not signing, I mean a month, or oh, yeah, a month, no, a year, I'm not going to sign an exclusive contract. So, um, me and um, Jason are going out again tonight. Um, we're going to the casino. I haven't been in the casino in a while, but I get so many comps, it's ridiculous. I mean, they send me almost on a weekly basis, like $50 worth of comps and like $25 worth of comps and drinks or food at any of the restaurants there. I never use them, they go to waste. So finally, a couple days ago, I got this thing in the mail for comps uh, at the casino, like $100 uh, to gamble with and $25 eat and drink. And I told him about it yesterday. And I said, do you wanna use it? Do you wanna go and just gamble and hang out at the casino? And he's like, yeah, sure. So, um, so he should be here soon and pick me up, so. I love Jason. He's really, really cool. I think I might be seeing more of a friend in him than anything. I don't know. I don't have any expectations of anyone, really. It's too early in the game, you know? Oh, yeah. I haven't heard from of course. I haven't heard from him. I mean, the only excuse he could tell me is that he's in a coma. But, I mean, I really can't be mad because we're not together. And maybe he has a girlfriend now and, like, he's busy with her. I don't know. So, I can't, like, be mad, but I am.